and welcome and today I'll be making a cleavers hand lotion with the help of the dog. Um, <laughs> Go. Go catch one. There's people down there. I think they might be food. Go get a duck. Go get a duck. Go on, Lola. Yeah. 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 Oh, go on, Lola. Go on, Lola. And welcome to our channel and today I'll be making a really simple and effective antibacterial antiseptic hand lotion and this is using the common plant of cleavers or its Latin name Gallium aparim or it's known as goose grass or sticky willy, sticky weed, anything like that. Children will generally know where to find this because they love, love sticking it to themselves. Like so. <laughs> and, uh, and it's going to be really, really easy to do. Okay, so we're going to add the cleavers into the pestle and mortar. And basically what we're looking for is the juice of the cleavers, so inside the cleavers. Um, so we're just going to add that in and we're going to give it a good crush. Um, and that's basically, it's better to do this when it's fresh, because otherwise you won't actually get any of the liquid out of it. And you don't need much because we're not making a huge amount. Now this, this could be uh, applied directly to the skin if you needed like a slight antibacterial or antiseptic um, lotion anyway. So this can actually just be crushed in your hands and used directly onto the skin. I've got my trusty helper crushing it for me. Well done, Lee. That just <laughs> crushed their hand. Okay, so we've started to crush this, and as you can see, it's started to release some of its juices, but not lots. Uh, we don't want to waste the juice in here because I don't, don't need lots of it. So I'm actually going to put it into this clear container just so you can see. Uh, and I'm going to do this by wringing it out by hand. As I say, this can be applied directly to the skin as it is. All you need to do is crush it up and rub it into your hands. So I don't need lots. And as you can see, it's just, now we've crushed it, it's really coming out here really well. And that's all I'm going to need because I'm only going to make a teeny tiny pot. But if you were doing this and you needed this in the, um, and you didn't have anything else, you could just apply this directly to the skin as is. And it smells like, no! <laughs> no. Yeah. So I have now got this pure lanolin, which I'm going to use, which obviously is really good for the skin anyway, but just mixing it in with the cleavers will be brilliant. And I've just got a teeny tiny pot to add it in so that I've got it into in my kit for going out into the woods. So I'm now going to mix in about a teaspoon's worth of lanolin into the mixture. I want, I want the lanolin to be uh, soft and pliable uh, without being too runny. So you kind of have to do it a little bit by ear because obviously the lanolin is quite hard and the more you work it, the softer it will become anyway. So I'm just going to get a bit, about a teaspoon's worth in here and I'm just going to mix that directly in. So we've just mixed that all in and all I'm going to do now is I've actually got a little container. I'm just going to put it in there um, to store for a use on another day if needed. So there it is, the finished hand lotion for use at a later stage. 
and I will see you again in the woods.